Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum friends and subscribers. This is Mamu Sheikh and from past few videos I am working on a tutorial series of how to make a blog application using Laravel 5.4. In my last video I have completed the functionality of adding post to our uh, application. Uh, you can see we have added two posts here. If I go to my database and I click on post table you can see I have added two posts and now in this video I will uh, fetch these posts from the database and I will display them on my home page okay so now let's go to our uh, home controller sorry let's go to our posts controller and then here we need to uh, get all the posts okay, let's get this okay post Okay, here I am saying I want all the posts from my post table. So let's get two posts and we need to pass this array inside our inside our view. Okay. Let's return it first. Return dollar posts and then exit. Okay, now let's refresh the page. Okay, now let's first log out and log in. Okay, log in. Okay. Okay, I have passed this uh, here. Okay, let's let's click on add post you can see all the posts are displaying but i don't want to uh, display all this post whenever user click on the post link i just what i'll do i'll just take this out cut edit it and we need to go to our home controller to go to app and then http and inside that go, click on home controller and then come here and then Paste it here, okay. And now let's go back and go to our home page. Okay, okay. Post is uh, we have to call our, our post model here. Use app post. Okay. And let's refresh the page, and you can see two posts are uh, coming from the database. Okay. Now we have. First, we need to pass these two posts to our view. Copy. Okay. Okay, now we need to come to our view called home. And here we need to uh, need to write if and if then else if if count of dollar post which in, this is the post variable or array that we have passed uh, passed from our home controller okay uh, we have we have got all the posts from the database and, and we have stored inside this variable and we have passed this variable to our view and the same uh, variable or the uh, this post variable I am accessing inside my home space greater than if this post variable is having any data uh, then I will run a for each loop and for each then dollar Posts. I want all the posts as post. Okay. Then I will print P. H four. Let's say H four. Okay, and then copy post title 
okay so you can see it has written all the posts uh, to us from that post we need to access all this uh, information all these fields post title copy this and paste it here and then and then image img say and then alt okay copy paste here and then we need to get post image copy this and paste here and then we need to get post description just copy this here post body okay in else if we uh, didn't uh, if we didn't get any data uh, from our database then we will return as no post available okay now let's go back and refresh the page okay you can see we we got two pastes uh, two posts displaying on our home page okay so now let's okay, this is the title and uh, post image and then description okay after description let's put an hr okay refresh okay now it's okay and we had let's come to our old project let's log out first public okay you now login okay now here title post image and then okay okay mm, okay that's fine okay you yes, save it okay now refresh okay let's log in okay log in and let's click on add post and title is yes films okay and then okay put this dummy content and category as uh, entertainment and choose the image okay and then click on publish post and then you can see a new post has been added in our home page with a message uh, post published successfully okay so uh, this much is enough for this uh, for this video guys uh, and in this video we learned how to get the records uh, or post uh, from the database and display it on our home page and in my next video i will uh, uh, show you how to uh, add links like this like view edit and delete and then we will be we will be displaying only the part of the content here on our home page we are loading um, uh, we, we can restrict uh, our application to load only some specific number of characters and display it on our home page we will do that in our next video and we will uh, start adding links to our each post which are these links you edit and delete these icons are coming from the font awesome we need to download uh, uh, download a package of font awesome from the net and we need to use that uh, package in our project uh, with the help of which we will be able to uh, display these icons this font awesome icons in our project 
okay so all this the, all those things we will be doing in the next video uh, i hope you uh, uh, understood till now i hope you got some useful information out of this video if you like this video subscribe to our channel click on like button share it with your friends and i will see you guys in my next video thanks for watching